Welcome to Minutes, everybody. So today I posted a meme out there, and it's a picture of our education system. And it basically shows a bunch of different animals that have different abilities and says, hey, we're going to make them have the same test. Go climb the tree. Um, and, you know, there's some real truth to that. And it's a complex conversation, complex issue. I think if it was easy to solve, um, what we think it would be better or we need to do better would already be better. So when I think about it, I look at it from the aspect that if we don't standardize our education system and don't do the same stuff for everybody until they're a young adult, we kind of start to guide and create the path for young people a lot earlier than maybe they're ready for it. Um, or we kind of really shepherd them a lot differently than maybe today's system. I put some deep thought into this because I was, you know, I often talk about how our system is not the best, but then I started to ask myself, well, how would I make it better? Right? If you're going to complain, you got to make something different or you got to come up with a, a solution and it's a very big thing to move. So you better be on point with your suggestions. So, you know, one thing that comes to mind is if you started to transition our youth um, to maybe what they were better at, uh, you know, some people are good at math, some people are good at um, the trades, you know, so we have a BOCI system and stuff like that. But, you know, what age is the right age to start niching people into where we think they belong? And I think that's where the problem is. We almost need to figure out how to get a culture where we train and mentor and lead people to figure out where they want to be. But at what stage are you intellectually ready or have you had enough experiences to figure out where you want to build your skill sets and spend a lot of your time and your working life? If you, you know, the other, a lot of people don't choose what they do in life. It kind of happens to them. They find their place, right? Um, not everybody can be an entrepreneur or a business creator. There's, there's people for every little facet and everybody's got their different strengths. Just like in the picture, you know, you're not going to have an alligator climb a tree very easily or, you know, a hedgehog for that matter. But at the same time, you know, it gets quickly. So say, hey, eighth grade, I thought about, is it eighth grade? That's the right time to say, we've taught you basic lessons. We've taught you the basic needs to understand how to operate in society, now it's time to ask you this question. What do you want to do in life? And, you know, I'm like, geez, I don't know if that's the right time. I tried to think back to when I was a kid. Um, I, you know, right now we kind of have those conversations a lot more at 10th grade or going into 10th, or yeah, 10th grade, going into 11th and 12th grade. And then that's like where I transitioned to BOCES. And that was a really good program for me. But is the timing better to be maybe when you go from, you know, 8th to ninth grade? I don't know. I still feel like you're too young and you don't understand enough. So I was trying to figure out <laughs> the solution on what I would do different with the system that I feel doesn't help um, groom and grow our youth the right way. Um, and I don't know if you don't keep it basic and, and the same for everybody you actually start to get a more socialist, communist feel to it because you're going to actually start making decisions for adolescents on where their path's going to be and what they're going to get taught and what we're going to give them for skills. And we kind of pigeonhole them into a future. That seems f fucked up. So I was like, wow. So until you feel like they're at a point where they can take responsibility for where they want to go in life, you kind of take responsibility for them and what is the right age for that transition for them to say, I know what I want because I've been given the options. I've had enough experience. So now I can pick my direction. It's just a tough, <laughs> it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Once I step back and started really thinking about it and, um, I sure as hell don't want people sizing up my kid and telling them that they're going to go and do this. And the next four years of their high school are going to be focused on, this sector of the world or you're going to go 
do this or hey you're only good for food you know you know f food or you're only good for um doing labor or you know you should be an electrician or you should be this we have to allow the freedom you know of our american people to choose where they want to be but we talk about this outdated school system it's tough now is there things that should be better taught in school absolutely we should be teaching emotional intelligence we should be teaching you know better financial awareness but the problem is is you know teaching those types of things really wakens up a person to actually develop and grow into something that i think the general feeling of why we don't like our school system is society wants them trapped there they want them not to be opened up and more intellectually um knowledgeable uh, of their emotions and being able to actually make their own choices and feeling like they can take charge versus being a victim you know the victim card and the people who can't handle um handle certain things those those people stay stuck in society as far as a follower and um you know a laborer or, or something and and if you elevate that because someone chose to elevate that that's when you start to see some different um different options and entrepreneurs come up or or leaders or or certain you know things or you create your own little business that's cool or you know those types of things but you know there's also just the general how much you educate the full population um, and what would that create if if people were awakened to so much more knowledge and ability what would our world look like so it's a, I don't know this meme which I popped out which I figure is kind of controversial um, was interesting for me to start to digest to figure out how to create a video on uh, and I, I'd be interested to hear what people's comments are um, but I'm not saying there isn't things that can be improved but at what point do we are the kids ready to make their decisions on where they want to go and whatever we could agree on makes sense intellectually um, we could start branching off with options and things but then we got to staff those options we have to be able to have those programs and when you take it away from a common core or something like that you you lose the ability to scale that well my phone's ringing I gotta go looks like that phone call got picked up by Brent so I'm gonna keep cruising but either way, um, closing this down, I, I don't really know what I would do to, to, to advise to change it without just adding some different things that I feel all, all people should know on basic finances and more emotional intelligence and relationship building. But um, I don't know. You kind of can't cater it to every single little different thing too much because then you really start to limit their options and their freedom. So let me know what you think. Have a good day.